Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So friends, in this video we will be talking about our editorial discussion series. So this is a new initiative that has been launched by us in which what we will be doing, which we will be analyzing important editorials uh, that uh, might have been uh, might have appeared in different newspapers that is uh, uh, the sources that will be covered by us uh, will be the hindu indian express and the tribune uh, and any other newspaper which has uh, uh, which may have uh, an important article that is that, that may be important from your exam point of view so before starting the discussion friends let me tell you that this this discussion will not be according to you can say if today is 3rd october then we will be discussing only the uh, uh, articles of 3 October so if today is 4 October so it is not necessary we will be just focusing upon the articles of 4 October so we may pick up uh, the previous articles as well because sometimes uh, it is difficult to for example uh, 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 the, the purpose of uh, us will be to upload video by 8 a.m. So in that case, obviously, we will, for example, we can miss an, an important article uh, that may appear in any other newspaper. So we will be discussing the editorials uh, of, the, uh, of the particular day as well as uh, from a particular editorial uh, that might have appeared earlier in the newspaper, but that is important and we think that it is important for you people. So this discussion will be a kind of a flexible discussion. So let's start our discussion friends. So today we are going to discuss the three articles. So these three articles, all these th three articles have been picked up from Indian Express. So uh, these three articles were very important and that, that's why they have been picked up. So the first article is making a Amends. So this article is about uh, the Supreme Court recalling its 2018 order uh, in which uh, uh, it ordered, uh, it, it gave a judgment which uh, in effect led to the dilution of uh, uh, Anti-Atrocities Act uh, that is SCST Act. So what was the done in this judgment? So let me tell you friends that I will be giving you a very brief introduction. My purpose will not be here to give, uh, to go into each and every uh, line of the editorial because reading is very important for you people unless and until you don't do self reading, uh, uh, it will not benefit you. And my purpose is only to introduce you to the editorial and what the main points and major themes of the article is. So uh, the point is that uh, in uh, 2018 Supreme Court gave the judgment uh, that uh, uh, two judge bench gave that judgment that forbidden the arrest of public servants and private persons without permission in cases filed against SCST Act and insisted on a preliminary inquire, inquiry before registering an FIR in such cases. So the point was uh, that uh, Supreme Court held that there might be a possibility of uh, uh, misuse of this uh, SCST, SCST Act uh, in which uh, the prevalent uh, complaints may arise so that's why the what the what did Supreme Court uh, what the Supreme Court did in 2018? It uh, gave the judgment that uh, any ar arrest uh, uh, of a person must not happen uh, 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 on its own. There must be if it, if, it, if a particular person is public servant, then uh, there must be proper authority from which approval uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, will required to be taken to uh, arrest that person. And if that person is a private person, and then preliminary inquiry must take place before arresting such person but uh, uh, the thing is that uh, the Supreme Court now uh, has observed in its recent uh, 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 we can say order that uh, this uh, this uh, oh, this kind of order was not uh, 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 kind of valid order because it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, it, it didn't take into concern consideration the social context uh, in which the act was uh, enacted that is uh, the first very important thing that is that is that is there in the article as well and you must also know that that the condition of SCSTs is very different in Indian society so they have uh, traditionally faced atrocities uh, so uh, uh, kind of we can say uh, the, the society is prejudiced against uh, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes so uh, in, in uh, pursuance of right to equality uh, uh, it is necessary that such persons who, who uh, kind of uh, who experience discrimination to uh, to a, a greater uh, uh, extent than any other group they must be protected uh, effectively and more 
more promptly so in that context uh, uh, it was criticized uh, that uh, supreme court didn't take into uh, took into the consideration uh, that uh, what uh, what was the social con context due which necessitated this act itself so other thing is that uh, so, uh, these scheduled caste and scheduled tribes are already uh, 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 very poor uh, they, and they they are very uh, they are not much edu ed educated so such kind of complex procedure will obviously uh, intimidate them or uh, uh, it uh, it will it will may it may lead to harassment as well as we can say uh, we can say miscarriage of justice uh, uh, as far as uh, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes are concerned so other thing that uh, supreme court in recent order has observed that uh, the directives that was laid down by it that is uh, uh, approval must be taken from a uh, appropriate authority or for example uh, uh, pre preliminary inquiry must take place in any in any case that the whether public or private so that thing supreme court has said that amounts to kind of we can say judicial overreach because legislation is the business of the uh, of of the gov uh, of the uh, legislature the parliament and the state assemblies so the supreme court or the judiciary cannot lay, lay down uh, uh, rules or laws uh, and that that amounts to kind of we can say overreach of its uh, of its power so in that context uh, the article also highlights various instances in which uh, um, uh, the various uh, there were uh, there uh, it also highlights the instances where uh, com atrocities have been committed against st sc and sts apart from uh, historical uh, atrocities there were many such uh, uh, issues that uh, came into life light uh, uh, last year because the public uh, the, uh, one case of, uh, of was of public flogging of five dalits by cow vigilance in nuna gujarat so it uh, it uh, um, then also uh, the, uh, the the earlier suicide case of uh, a research scholar in hyderabad that is rohit rohit bamula all such highlighted the caste discrimination uh, in our institutions whether educational higher or uh, public institutions so in that case uh, uh, the article highlights how the new narrative and how the dalit assertion in new form uh, came uh, uh, became prominent but uh, certainly in at the end the uh, article concludes that it is creditable that the supreme court has revisited its order and recalled it so uh, but the, in and the author uh, uh, highlights that uh, that uh, it highlights that uh, basically it points to the institutional resilience of the supreme court as well as uh, uh, we can say at a time when the question is being asked uh, questions are being raised about uh, about the independence of all the institutions when the political executive is uh, is enjoying a large and heavy mandate so in that context uh, uh, it must be noted that uh, it shows how supreme court is willing to to improve itself if it if it has committed any mistake so this is a kind of uh, we can say institutional resilience so this is all about friends uh, this article uh, so the uh, one such article was also in the hindu uh, and i i read that article but uh, that was not uh, that uh, effective because all the points that have been uh, um, uh, kind of we can say spoken here by me uh, all the points uh, were uh, in fact in that article as well so they have been already told to you so you may read that article it is not necessary and now let's move on to the second article second article is written water so this is in context of the recent floods uh, uh, in case of re uh, retreating monsoons so friends uh, uh, the inter uh, this indian meteorological department uh, had, had said that the uh, monsoon uh, uh so southwest monsoon will withdraw from india uh, uh, on uh, from monday so this monday or monday of this week so but uh, this uh, uh, this has ended officially but but the other thing is that uh, the author is highlighting that uh, near uh, that the floods have been uh, we can say uh, uh, we, uh, floods have been experienced in different parts of india for example in bihar and then in maharashtra and in the other parts as well in case of retreating monsoons as well so uh, nearly 30 people have lost their lives in the state uh, uh, of bihar and also up is experiencing uh, these floods and has claimed uh, more than 100 uh, lives of the people this these floods and death toll in maharashtra is is more uh, is also more than 20 so what is uh, what is the issue now so the common con feature of the flood stories is in all three states is that the civic authorities caught unawares so civic authorities were not prepared and uh, these casualties happened so what this trend highlights 
सो ऑब्वियसली फ्रेंड्स द मॉनसून सीजन द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द सेप्टेम्बर बट यू कैन सी दैट इट इज ऑलरेडी फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड इट वॉज ओनली अक्टूबर इट इज ओनली अक्टूबर वेन दैन दी साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून स्टार्ट रिट्रीटिंग एंड दे आर ऑल्सो नॉट जस्ट रिट्रीटिंग इन अ सिंपल मैनर बट दे आर दे आर कॉजिंग फ्लड प्रॉब्लम एंड आर ऑल्सो टेकिंग अ टॉल ऑन लाइफ सो ऑल्सो इंडियन मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट हैड इन दिस रिगार्ड guard issued uh, uh, a red alerts also but the civic authorities did, didn't pay the heed to it and also other thing is that uh, these monsoons sometimes what this pattern highlights that that sometimes monsoon uh, are deficient and sometimes they are excessive and overstretched so what what this uh, shows that, that there is uh, extreme precipitation events interspersed interspersed by dry spells and several studies reckon that it could become a new normal for the country but uh, then uh, what is the question? now what is the issue what is the point of discussing this article the point is that when uh, it does, uh, it point is that the, it shows that the civic authorities are are not prepared to deal with such situations for example uh, had the civ uh, civic authorities uh, would have been prepared would, would have been would have been prepared then uh, such situation would not have happened so uh, so in that case uh, the author highlights that uh, the civic author authorities must uh, uh, must we can say develop a, uh, a kind of cooperation with the with the meteorological department so that uh, they can uh, prepare themselves in advance to deal with any such uh, uh, difficult circumstances and in this context author also highlights that our cities are also poorly planned and poor uh, the drainage system is poorly uh, planned and managed uh, in the context of current climate change that is happening which is causing such extreme events so climate change is happening but uh, but the, uh, the for example uh, uh, in the in the in case of uh, patna uh, third, uh, the the number of water bodies reduced from uh, over 1000 to just 500 in 30, uh, 30 years so what did these water uh, what what the what these water bodies did they they used to store water and they helped in percolation of that water excess rain water into the ground uh, into the ground uh, by, uh, and then it becomes ground water but due to reduction of these water bodies this is not happening and excessive runoff is happening which also is causing soil erosion apart from floods as well and also uh, causing other uh, hindrances or other problems so also then there is drainage system is not that effective and civic authorities and all uh, also do not have that drainage system um, uh, efficient drainage system uh, because there is a, uh, the uh, such kind of drainage system is frequently uh, closed by the dumping the waste dumping so uh, civic authorities poorly manage them so it is necessary that there is necessary the cooperation between indian meteorological department and such civic authorities and also there must be proper drainage system and there must be respect for hydro hydrology so uh, percolative structures must be promoted and no, uh, and land use must not be uh, altered in uh, favor of we can say uh, more and more uh, concretization of the urban areas and then also uh, there must be kind of we can say short term focus on uh, unclosing the storm water drains so that the water can flow and uh, and and the the flood situations can be prevented so urban planners uh, should uh, read such type of events uh, as a warning uh, that uh, that uh, such events are more likely to happen in the future due to the climate change so this is about this article now let's move on to the last article of the day the last article of the day is very important that is uh, uh, recently friends uh, 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 from uh, from yesterday onwards, the uh, Prime Minister of Bangladesh uh, 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 ha has started uh, her official visit to India. So in that context, this article has appeared that what are the uh, what are the uh, uh, what are the what is the current past what was the past situation in India Bangladesh relation and what is the present situation and what can be the future course. So friends, uh, uh, past situation can be started from 1971 because this is the uh, year in which Bangladesh was created with active help of. Uh, india uh, indian uh, indian army and indian government so it was when it was formed it was expected that as the, as, as indian indian government helped the um, bangladesh attain independence the relations would be smooth and progressive but however this didn't happen because uh, uh, the person uh, that is sheikh mujibur rahman who was the main founder who was the main uh, we can say 
leader of uh, of uh, independence movement of bangladesh he was assassinated within 4 years and uh, in family his family members were also assassinated and uh, the entire uh, entire uh, government of the Bang uh, bangladesh came under the control of political conservatives that is right right uh, uh, political right between uh, 1975 and 1996 so that prevented any effective partnership in between in, in between india and bangladesh and not just that uh, uh, the relationship also suffered uh, when uh, when uh, during the time of 2001 to 2006 uh, uh, the the government the bangladesh government ruled by this uh, bangladesh national party bnp and uh, you are uh, 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 th there is also one more party i am not able to uh, recall its name uh, it is it is jamaat e islami yeah jamaat e islami coalition government what it, it uh, started doing it uh, started it, uh, start, it started providing we can say uh, safe havens to the insurgent groups that were operating in the northeast so that uh, that was the time when the bangladesh in india bangladesh relations were in the uh, were, were in the downward spiral so but then uh, but when in 2008 uh, the awami league won the elections and the uh, prime minister uh, 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 sheikh hasina came into uh, power then uh, this uh, this was uh, such insurgent groups were uprooted from the country and that they, this has marked a kind of we can say a very positive uh, phase in the in the relations between india and bangladesh and in fact uh, uh, this is uh, this this is currently uh, the since 2008 the most uh, the most positive phase uh, in the india bangladesh relations is going on and in this positive backdrop many unresolved issues that had been uh, uh, unresolved, in unresolved since 1947 have been re resolved for example uh, this uh, we can say uh, th there is a kind of land boundary agreement in which uh, the anomalies that were dating back to partition were corrected uh, because uh, uh, this uh, to in 2015 uh, indian government uh, led by bjp ratified the 1947 uh, 1974 land boundary treaty so which executed land swap of enclaves uh, setting uh, historical anomalies dating back to the partition of the subcontinent so then there is also other uh, th things that are moving in the positive direction for example uh, both the countries have witnessed an international ruling in which it was held uh, both the countries right to explore the minerals within their territorial uh, waters was up held and they the both the countries have peacefully observed it and these show that the uh, milestones can be and the milestones can be achieved and unresolved issues can be resolved <clears throat> One, when once there is understanding and uh, we can say uh, we can say and uh, there is understanding as well as trust and, and a willingness to engage on equal terms uh, uh, so that sovereign nations can help resolve historical disagreements but now comes the uh, uh, unresolved issues and then what are what the india is now doing and uh, uh, what are the uh, newly emerging issues so uh, one thing is rivers and credit lines so uh, regarding this friends uh, we share many river with, with rivers with bangladesh so uh, bangladesh obviously bangladesh and bangladesh wants that uh, there must be proper from the framework for the management of the rivers uh, so that uh, uh, the mutual uh, uh, usage of the uh, uh, mutual and uh, mutually beneficial usage of the rivers can take place and the most outstanding issue in this context is the tista water sharing agreement which uh, which in fact indian government has also uh, failed to we can say negotiate uh, and then this uh, tista river disp uh, water sharing uh, uh, issue must be resolved uh, if if india bangladesh relations have to be improved so obviously uh, it is expected that uh, the um, uh, the prime minister of the bangladesh in this visit will obviously highlight this issue uh, to resolve it as soon as possible and specifically then uh, there is also uh, issue of uh, uh, credit line so already india has promised uh, uh, 7.4 billion dollar of eight, uh, uh, three lines of credit worth uh, 7.4 billion dollars so but out of uh, out of it only a uh, very uh, only a small amount has been disbursed for example just 10% has been dis uh, disbursed and uh, uh, third line of credit of uh, that is worth 4.5 billion dollar has not been touched even now so execution is very slow but these line of credits were 
over for the developmental projects but the bureaucratic red tapeism is preventing the speedy disbursement of all these line of credits as well as implementation of infrastructure projects and it has also remained a traditional uh, uh, hiccup uh, we can say in the context of uh, India's foreign projects so also uh, then Bangladesh Bangladesh bureaucrats red tapeism is also preventing the speedy implementation but though the India can do the dispersal but it is not doing because just 10% dispersal has taken place so it is necessary that such a dispersal must be prompt and speedy and also it is expected that the uh, the, uh, the Bangladesh Prime Minister may also uh, uh, seek one more such uh, financing uh, we can say uh, fin uh, financing uh, one more fin uh, additional line of uh, credit to finance infrastructure projects relating to pipeline so in this context uh, uh, this uh, this must be uh, uh, we can say fast track so other the major issue that is emerging between India and Bangladesh is now is the NRC and the Rohingya issue so Rohingya issue traditionally in 2017 India uh, made the remarks that were not uh, that were uh, kind of we can say irritant to Bangladesh but now India India's visit uh, India's foreign minister visit uh, uh, last month to the uh, last to last month that is a uh, in August to Bangladesh um, uh, the showcase is that uh, that India is willing to understand the Bangladesh and trust because there are foreign minister has said that uh, 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 easy speedy and uh, we can say uh, prompt uh, uh, we can say repatriation of uh, migra uh, of migrants is uh, is necessary for all people uh, of people uh, is necessary for the interests of india bangladesh and myanmar so in that context india is also showing willingness to uh, uh, to to understand bangladesh and trust and acknowledge such acknowledge such interests uh, then uh, other thing is about nrc because national register of citizens it has excluded 1.9 million people uh, uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the list of us uh, asmis who are indians so uh, then uh, there is a call of nrc being uh, uh, some politicians are making remarks that nrc be extended to entire india so then bangladesh is con concerned about uh, uh, what will happen to those who have been not included in uh, 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 nrc because uh, political leaders are saying that uh, time and again that uh, illegal immigrants will be sent back but but when it come to negotiations at the governmental level uh, between uh, bangladesh and india or any other country then it is not uh, then indian government is saying that uh, nrc exercises an internal matter and then it will not affect uh, uh, bangladesh or any other country but the uh, intel, intel, intelligence in bangladesh is also observing it and uh, and it is of the view that uh, uh, though it may be politically inspired but uh, it may have unintended consequences which may not be uh, controllable later by the political leadership which might which may be making such statements as of now for making political gains because at the end of the day uh, the reality is that uh, there are many unintended consequences out of which uh, the best example is the partition of india uh, uh, which uh, the british uh, uh, which the british did not envisage but they envisaged uh, uh, the we can say sustenance of uh, the, their rule in india but uh, and, and in pursuance of this they they promoted uh, they promoted animosity among hindus and uh, muslims but then it resulted in the partition of india so that is the uh, that is the opinion of bangladesh intelligentsia that it may have international uh, ramifications as well so bangladesh is uh, closely watching this exercise so it uh, uh, no no amount of assurance will going to be work uh, work unless and until uh, a clear strategy and a clear cut policy of indian government is not made uh, because uh, the uh, the neighboring countries will remain suspicious and then also uh, issue of rohingyas is there so india can cooperate uh, though as of now there is a kind of we can say indian opinion that uh, though uh, india is uh, geographically more close to uh, bangladesh and it has more historical ties and india can do do more uh, so far as mediation uh, uh, mediation between bangladesh and myanmar is concerned relating to uh, relating to rohingya issue but in fact china is is playing a leading role which is a cause of concern for us because we can play a role of leadership in the region so uh, in south asia reason we must take this responsibility but this has been china is leading in it so must we must take that responsibility so on the whole if uh, if we if we want to conclude then uh, prime minister hasina's visit will will kind of uh, underline and nurture the special friendship between dhaka and new delhi 
so friends this is all about today's discussion so if you like this this discussion if you like the video if you like the uh, our effort then do ensure that you like uh, our video share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends we also have a telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and with will also be provided in the description box so you can join this telegram channel and uh, uh, you can remain in touch with various updates that we do on our uh, channel for the purpose of civil services preparation so this is all about today's video thank you for thank you friends have a very nice day ahead